and welcome to Conquering Mount Scrum War with Brenda. I'm Brenda and today, today we launch our Nosegay Quilt Sew Along. That's right, we're doing this block and we're doing this, we're doing this quilt. Well, we're doing a few changes and I, I can explain the changes as we're going through. But I'm so excited. So what I need you to do is pick your colors, pick your palette, start, you know, I went and I dug through all of my crumb bins and I found enough to make uh, my quilt. I started cutting them. Anyways, we also started a Facebook group and the please come join because the pattern's already there in PDF form. But one person I want you to check out is Di from Sister Chicks Quilting. <laughs> Her channel has a lot of fun. She's a quilt shop. But she does a lot of cool things there. So tell her when you go check her out, the Brenda sent you. In the meantime, you're going to find in the show notes the pattern for the nosegay. Now, there's four different sizes of nosegay that you'll be working with, right? This is the teeniest one, and then there's three other ones that are larger. If you're working with the two smaller ones, you're going to have to make 36 blocks. If you're working with the two larger ones, you're only making nine blocks. And we are going to have sashings and a little border. I'm going to change up the border a bit. So come on in. Let's get to what we're looking at. Okay, so here are my test blocks that I did for the nosegay. Here's the 12-inch block. Wow, I should have probably ironed it before. But basically, it ends up, you know, it's, it's going to be like 24 and a half inches across, unfinished, right? So what happens is you need nine of these. That's it. And you've got yourself a six foot, you know, square quilt. And then you, you can add sashing or whatever to them. But this finished up really well. I decided to go like kind of scrappy and set my crown in a rainbow. Right. And, you know, set my, yeah, it does need ironing. And it's just, and I use the same background on all the pieces. Now you could go like totally scrappy and just do whatever you wanted for this. But when you eliminate the seam, right, you have no bulk here. There's absolutely zero bulk. And what the back looks like is this. It, it actually spins on itself because you sew them two by two, right? And then you sew the, the two pieces together and then you sew it right across and those points all nest in there and because it's spinning because it spins around your seams spin around right there's virtually no bulk right like i didn't have to take a hammer to this like i did the other quilt you have a little bit of bulk here in the crown but that's expected and it's easily it's easily managed right by twisting it and you know twisting it down so it's it goes together pretty quick too now, that, so this is the 24. I did a nine and I found out there was an error on the pattern. I corrected it, so yay. And with the six, here's the six. Here's the nine, I love plastic bags because it, and I again, I removed that, that's those seams in the middle and here's the nine and here is the six. And they're just cute. They're just really cute and sweet and everything else. Now, what I have done is I've used freezer bags, of course, because I love freezer bags. And what I've done is for the blocks, the number of blocks I'm making, I put them, the pattern is below in the show notes, for the, for the number of blocks I'm making, I put each block into a freezer bag and I cut them. So for this, for example, I have in this one bag, I have 20 green pieces, I have four blue, four purple, four red, four pink, four orange, four yellow, and four cones. And now out of my low volume backgrounds, right, and I picked this, I try to pick smaller prints with dainty little, dainty little things on them, not, not too big scale. This is probably the biggest scale of all of them, but I try to keep it small and f like floral so it gives it kind of more of a vintagey feel I did do a couple of tone on tones in here but we pretty much stayed very you know traditional this is about the only modern piece of fabric that I've got in here I've got you know something very soft that's a larger scale but it's so muted you know it doesn't matter 
because because you're I'm cutting stuff that's very small I didn't want you know something all of a sudden where you have like a big rose in in that covers the entire patch right so I picked out my neutrals that way now because my crumbs are hand size and smaller right I was able to take everything out of my crumb bin right for color like I'm using like uh, scrap yardage for the backgrounds but out of my crumb bin did it make a dent in my crumb bin not really because I still have a lot of a lot of crumbs but I'm putting them to good use and I have a lot of variety that way too right so it's going to look very eclectic you know when I do get my mind done I did decide I would go crazy and I would do the smallest one I would do basically a reproduction of my grandmother's quilt that is a five inch square now this is not a five inch square because this is like ten and a half so if you choose to do the five inch square with me you'll notice these triangles here on the side are a little bit bigger than need be because I needed something to hold on to while I sewed because there it was too it was just too small I couldn't hold on to it I was I couldn't hold on to it with tweezers or anything else and you can see I've got like the hand stitching in the back I don't know if you can yeah I've got some hand stitching out going on in the back well once you're holding on to these two pieces my thumb just about covers that triangle so I didn't want to keep stabbing myself so but the bigger ones are easier now I will give you a on a free pattern Friday how to do this block in a beam block and in triangles because there's a lot of Y seams in here and I think some of you might feel very uh, uncomfortable about doing you know all those Y seams whether you're doing it by hand or by sewing machine if you're doing them by hand Y seams are nothing absolutely nothing to worry about but you know if you're if you're doing it by sewing machine do the larger ones because you only have to make nine right and I did give in the pattern options for the two smaller ones so if you just wanted to make one block just to, so you could say yeah I made a block instead of cutting four color four background you cut four color and this would be your background option right so that's how that that pattern and then your block would finish as a square right that you can trim down and I did that for the five and six I didn't do it for nine and I didn't do it for the 12 inch so like I say I'm going to try and find these and drop them into the Google Drive and I'm going to try and drop them onto the Facebook group today but if you're in part of the Facebook group they're going to be in your file folder now there's some shorthands or whatever that I use it's SOG straight of grain right now straight of grain is very important on this triangle and these that the straight of grain be there right because you want a straight of grain around the outside of your block this is all both both these pieces here are on bias here this is straight of grain it won't stretch right if you had bias there everything would stretch the only piece on bias here is this one here in the corner right and like I say you don't want your bias on the edge so now the other one is when I say cut one where is it oh yes cut 12 cut 12 rev that's cut 12 cut 12 reverse so that's important that you know like because then you have a mirror image like this you have a mirror image that you can sew together very quickly now as we go through this pattern I'm going to show you how you can combine the sewing machine and your hand sewing and it makes this, this come together so much quicker right so if you're a little concerned about how you're going to get all manage all those Y seams again Y seams if you're doing hand sewing piece of cake right because you just you know you just roll around your your blocks and it's very 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 quick so I hope you join me with this this will be pretty good so I just want to show you the rest of the blocks so come join me for the ta-da moment okay this is where we're at so your job to do these lovely little nosegay blocks is to first off pick your size and that's the size you work with through the entire sew along right 
this will and this makes it a little bit easier for you if you're picking the two larger sizes because they are a bigger block once the the four cones and everything is all sewn together uh, you know you're going to only need nine blocks so I chose the smallest one so I'm going to need 36 um, the the six your the six inch size is this one and it's a 12 and a half inch unfinished block which will finish at 12 inches inside your quilt so if you this quilt if you make 36 of these it'll be six feet by six feet if you make 25 it's five feet by five feet right so that might be five feet and then you got to play around with your sashing and that so this might be a better you know the depending on what you want to do right but your job is to take everything press it starch it if you want because you're working with a lot of bias too starch them and then cut them right so i didn't starch mine but i you know like i'm going to be working with it very quickly so it's not going to be like pulled and stretched and everything else like that so this is going to be one fun sew along and we'll do it we'll do the sew along as part traditional hand piecing and part to you know part sewing machine so we are going to shortcut some of the hand sewing but you do you will get to see how the hand sewing is done and all the knots that go in now my knots are a little different than some other people's and some people too they also mark their pieces so on your templates let's say for instance you would make two like on the pattern where's the pattern okay on your pattern this is a cutting template right so you would cut along the outside black line if you're going to hand sew everything some hand sewers then they make another template that's a quarter of an inch shy which is your inside black line right so and then they draw around that and that's the line that they stitch on and they just do it with pencil right so that was one way of, of teaching people. Some people say, okay, then you just do the the, the trimming, the pen, the sole line, and you whatever you get for your seam allowance, you get for your seam allowance, because it doesn't matter, because you've already drawn the, what, however you want to do it. We're not saying anything, <laughs> anything to anybody about how you do things. You can also just cut your pieces, use your washi tape on your non-dominant thumb. Right, I am right-handed, so my washi tape and nail polish goes on my my thumb of my left hand with a clear coat of nail polish. So I have a ruler that gives me a quarter inch. So you buy that quarter inch washi tape. If you don't have washi tape in your house, you know what our grandmothers used to do? Pencil or pen. They would take and they would mark two little marks on their thumbnail. And they would have to, once they washed their hands because they went to the bathroom or did dishes or laundry or whatever, they'd have to remark it. But I mean, that's how they kept it. They just marked it on their thumbnail. You know, so you don't have to, there's other ways of doing this. But I mean, like, I'm always washing my hands and it's like, well, okay. And it does rub off. Like, if you, you know, like a pen mark or a pencil mark will rub off. So it's up to you how you want to do this. So I, what I did is I just did all my cutting for the colors, the color bits that are going to be in this quilt. I did that. And now I'm going, and it took me two days because <laughs> I'm doing the little one. I'm doing the little one. I don't know why I'm doing the little one, but I'm doing the little one. And you can see there's quite a big difference in size because this is a 12 inch cone. So yeah, it's going to be big. Um, because I've eliminated this middle seam, there... On this quilt, there's a lump here, and I took a hammer to it. With this, there's no lump, right? Because I took, I removed the seams here, right? I removed the seams here. So basically now, instead of having, you know, uh, 12 pieces of fabric coming together, you only have eight. And eight will swirl to give you a flatter center, right? So it's kind of a cheat. But it, it works. It'll it'll work. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. And if you are worried about all that the you know the hand sewing and all the stuff and you do want to stick more to a sewing machine, pick your larger size. Because it's easier to do a Y seam on a like bigger piece than it is a smaller piece. So I hope you have a fabulous week. 
get your cutting done, get your marking done. If you're going to mark and you're going to hand sew, if you're if that's what you're into, you know, you can do that. And basically, too, um, you just draw a little dot on the back of where your X is as to where you have to meet your points or if you're hand sewing. If you're sewing machine, you'll get make sure you have a good quarter inch foot or your quarter inch is right on the money because you want just a scant quarter inch. You know, it has to so you have to accommodate for the fold of the cloth, right? So I hope you have an amazing week ahead. And we'll be dropping one nosegay so long per week so you don't get overwhelmed with all this stuff. So you take care. All right, bye. My husband and I would like to thank you for watching today. We're so happy about the way our channel has grown and we just want to wish you so well in your journey along with us. Please like, share and subscribe and tell your friends. Now, the next thing is this quilt. We are wondering if you guys would like this quilt as a free sew along on this channel this fall, this coming fall, winter. We were kind of thinking that this one would be really fun to do. We could do it in a larger size or a smaller size, it's up to you, but this one was a lot of fun to make. And it's all, it, it lends itself to being hand stitched, but you can also do this on a sewing machine as well. So let us know in the comments below. Remember, share, like, subscribe, tell your friends. Okay, have a great week ahead, bye.